Hey everyone, this is Vicki with Messy Table Studio on behalf of my creative year for the June Muse. I have been on a mission to use up my supplies. I found a way to kill two birds with one stone. Well, actually maybe three. Alright, so I have Happy Meal that comes from different places and I have a bin, a bin, in my closet and it's bulging and I need to use the paper up. I can't use it up fast enough with the small books that I make so I decided to tackle something a little bit out of my comfort zone and try something bigger. Now if I was really going to go nuts I would try, you know, big. But the paper that I'm getting is not that size. So it's more like this. This is a Zatarain's Jambalaya box. I had three. One of these has gone to, gone to a new owner. So what the idea is, is to start using up the boxes that are the food boxes and Kool-Aid boxes and candy boxes and cake boxes that I've been saving up. I need to use them and then covering them with interesting covers, either, I don't know, jelly prints or whatever, maps, um, this, this is Imperial Sugar Bags, whatever it takes. My main reason for doing this is because I thought the con the concept is that I would take stuff that people gave to me and return it in a different form, better than what the, better than the way I got it, which is usually in an envelope or a box, the way everybody sends stuff. But I wanted to send it back so that it was attractive enough for people to want to use it. And if it just sits on a shelf forever, empty like this, that's cool. I'm good with that. Once it leaves my house, it's out of my hands. So I'm going to do a flip. Uh, I'll do one for sure, maybe two. Let's see how it goes. All right, so this is candy paper. Let me go in. This is candy paper from Russell Stover's Valentine candy box that my husband gave me for Valentine's Day. So I went through the, you know, that heart cushion thing that's in the candy to kind of keep it from knocking up against the cardboard and scuffing up the chocolate. I tore it apart. It's There's three layers. There's two that look like this. One on the top, one on the bottom. Wait, that should be one on the bottom and one on the top. And then there's like this puffy sort of look like bubble wrap, but it's cotton bubbles in the middle and that gives it that cushy crunchy sound so I peeled the layers off of the top peeled the layer off the bottom and this is what I ended up with I love this paper and no it does not still smell like chocolate I did take the sniff test <laughs> you knew I would now come on alright so this is paper scrapbook paper that somebody sent me and it's look it's sparkly isn't that pretty alright so there's that and a lot of this is scrapbook paper that I have a lot of, and it needs to go to a new home. So I put it in the book. There is wallpaper in here, and this happens to be a piece of lovely wallpaper. There's the, uh, you can see there's the printing for the wall, the information for the wallpaper right there. This other piece is uh, sheet music somebody gave to me, and I really loved it. But it's a little yellow so it means the sheet music is not new which is good I'm, I'm good with it not being new but I did take somebody else's handmade washi tape put it on the fold and then excuse me then sewed it in because I didn't think this paper was going to be very excited about having five holes poked in it this is a piece of cloth uh, wallpaper it feels like you know, like material. And you'll see on another page where it has the writing that it shows that it's wallpaper. Again, a lot of scrapbook paper. All right, so there's the center. So you've already seen these, except for, okay, here's the, oh, I didn't show it. Well, there's the other half of that wallpaper that feels like fabric. All right, so I took the sheet music and I glued a piece of my painting paper on top of it that I had stamped to well, it's one pattern, but I stamped it twice to make it look like row houses. The only thing is I didn't press down hard enough on it, and it left these blank spots. And I didn't like the way it looked, but I didn't want to throw the paper away, so I decided it would go in here. And then I 
you know, doubled up on the washi tape there and glued it onto the, the sheet music for a tip out. And this is the back side of the pink paper, and it is wallpaper. You can look at the all the information in like three or four different languages. There's Spanish, French, and English for the directions. Lots of scrap of paper. All right, this, again, the music with the washi tape down the side, music sheet, sheet music. Then I found some grid paper, somebody's original jelly print. I know who it belongs to, I'm just not gonna say their name. Um, this is deli paper, more scrapbook paper. There we go. This is a brown paper bag, and you can see that it, there's the seam for the, of the camera adjust. There, there's the seam right there for the brown paper bag. So I cut it, in, uh, cut the top of the, the side of the bag open and glued one of the end, I glued this end shut. And then I took my hole punch, my three quarter inch hole punch, put it in halfway and you know, you know. And then that way, if there's a journaling card, you just have to kind of put your thumb on it and pull it right out. Okay, there's that. More scrapbook papers. Grid paper. Jelly paper, original jelly print. A nice chunk of it too. And sheet music. Okay, so this, this is the third. This is the one that has four signatures. Yes. Okay, so there's four signatures in this one. This is this is wallpaper, and you wouldn't know it if you didn't feel it, but it is wallpaper. It feels fantastic. It's nice and soft. And there's the writing on it that shows that it's wallpaper. More scrapbook papers. Coffee dyed paper. I threw some of my stuff in to kind of give it, break up the monotony of just scrapbook paper. This is more wallpaper, and there's the logos and stuff right there for the wallpaper. Then I have a bag from, let me find it, World Market or Cost Plus. In the beginning, I only knew it as Cost Plus back in the 1980s, and then they added the, the bottom words, World, um, World Market, to it. There's one in Waco, and they have this really good jelly fruit called lychee fruit candy that my husband loves. So whenever I go to Waco and I go to Joann's, they're next door to each other or in the same shopping center, I run over to um, World Market and go buy him the lychee fruit candy. And I do that on purpose for two reasons. He likes it and I get a bag. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I know I turned that son of a gun off and it dinged anyway. All right, so then I had some of that leftover pink paper and I made a, a tuck spot right here. And there's another one on the other side. All right, so there's coffee dyed uh, a map of Edmonton, Can Canada. And on the back side, I don't know if that's Canada on the back side or not. Oh, yeah, it is because it says Alberta. All right, and this is a doily. And when I sewed it in, I sewed the rough side up. <laughs> I sewed it on the wrong side. It doesn't matter, I suppose, but this is the nice smooth side and this is the back side. <laughs> I have filmed this thing four times now. You think I'm going to get it straight? No, not really. This is Saskatoon. In Calgary. Go Canada! And these are uh, scrapbook paper. And here's the other one with the other tuck spot in that bag. And I cut the end off here so that you could use it. Tuck spot here. And then you have something to use in here. And then you got the cool elephant picture. I'm telling you, I love this elephant picture. This is one of the best logos ever. Love it. Line paper. Wallpaper. Coffee dyed paper. Some of mine. More scrapbook. And there's the, um, the wallpaper again. This back one has coffee paper, scrapbook paper, the whole thing. Uh, oh, this is an original coloring. You can feel it when you touch it. You can feel it. it's raised up where it was colored. So this is the original colored page out of, I guess, an adult coloring book or something that they ran off of the copier. But you can feel that it is the original because it's raised up. Line paper, or scrapbook paper. 
This is a photocopy of someone's poor. Isn't that cool? I just love the way this looks. It would look much better if it was green. Just saying. <laughs> All right, and here's cardstock, and then this is white, or oh, this is scrapbook paper. All right, so that is all four of those signatures and then this one has three signatures with pretty much the same types of paper there's uh, painty paper there's loads of scrapbook paper in here there's some um, paper that I sprayed tattered angels and seven gypsies on and it's a little shimmery like I said this one has a lot of scrapbook paper coffee dyed paper music sheet music the uh, city population or the city page number of stuff again listed in here this says Rhode Island that's the only state I can see on the side wait what is this one nickname Buckeye State oh that must be Ohio somewhere starting in there oh, this is a, a security envelope so that's the kind of things that are in these tip outs More shimmery paper, more scrap of paper. There's wrapping paper in here, sheet music, again with the uh, atlas that was coffee dyed, so on and so forth. Let's see what's in this, this one. Scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper. This is uh, under papers from when I was stamping. It's all black and white. There again is another part of the Canada map, Alberta. There's Edmonton. And... I'm not sure what's... Oh, Saskatoon. Saskatchewan. and This is Saskatchewan, and this is Saskatoon right there. This is sheet music. More scrapbook paper. Uh, painty paper that I was trying to make Franken paper out of it. Here's the painty part, and then here's the Franken part. And what's so silly, I don't know why, but I glued a, this strip here on top of the white paper, glued this strip, and then glued nothing down the middle. Ah, don't know. Must not have been a day where I had enough coffee. This coffee dyed paper. Here is a uh, security envelope. This is a seed packet from Wa uh, Walmart, from Target, that everybody was going on about a couple weeks ago. I managed to snag four bags of them. I could have got more, but I you know, didn't want to clean them out. And this is coffee dyed paper, the Franken paper. And see, and it's different color. Isn't that weird? I did yellow on one side and red on this, and then... Again, with the not going down the middle thing. I don't know what I was doing. That's status quo, right? Okay. So the rest of it's scrapbook paper. Um, this is somebody's original art that was photocopied. Some of these papers, I think I know who I got them from. Others that I think I know, I'm not quite sure. So I don't want to drop any names because I'm not really sure. Anyway, all this rest is scrapbook paper. Okay, so this was my point, is that take regular things that you get in envelopes and make something lovely and then send it back to that person or send it to a rack. Do a random act of kindness off of a list from some group that you belong to. Um, somebody's having a crappy day or they're struggling financially or they have a sick child or they're bedridden. Whatever the reason is, send them a little thing like this. This will cost, I think when I mailed... When I mailed it to, let me do this one because there's four signatures and it, it's easier. When I mailed it, I didn't want to put it in a $7 box. It's not going to fit in there. So what I do is I lay my books out flat and I um, hold them down with rubber bands so it lays as flat as I can get it. Of course, the post office always calls it a package, not an envelope. But still, I don't want the spine crushed from being in an envelope and like this. That's not a good idea. So what I do is I just take it, I open it, and then I put rubber bands on the ends. I mail all my books like this, all of them. Put rubber bands here to keep them open. You can make belly bands if you want to. I'm not getting that crazy. Well, maybe another time. <laughs> so that's it. Um, go make something for somebody with the stuff you've got that you swear you're going to use someday and that you just never do. Look, people, we can't take it with us as much as we'd like to try. <laughs> All that money I spent, it's not going anywhere, peeps. Your kids, 
your relatives are going to go, this is trash. Use it now. All right, so make something wonderful with what you've got. See you guys next month. Bye-bye.